Okay, some of you may or may not have watched my previous boring video of unboxing the Samsung Smart Hub, Smart Things Hub. In that video, I never seen it or used it before, so we connected it up. We managed to get my door lock connected, which once I actually found the unlock code or the programming code for the door, it actually went fairly quickly. Um, the hub must have been updating or something in the background because it after a couple minutes, um, the door works every time. I use the app on the, on the tablet, I haven't put it on the phone, but I'm assuming since they're both Android, it's gonna work the same. You lock and unlock, I'd say when you press the button within three seconds, the door actually activates, it'll lock or unlock, and it tells me the, the current status on the, on the app. And it is accurate, if I go down and lock it, when it's unlocked, the app will actually update and show that it's locked. So that's nice. Now, problem is, how do we actually program it? This lock, you can have one-time use codes. You can have, I forget how many different users, you know, like 50 different lock codes or unlock codes. Um, and of course, like I mentioned, you got the one-time use, you put it in, once they use it, the code's burnt, can't use it again. Well, how do you enter these? You can't do it from the touchpad. Uh, you can enter a permanent code from the touchpad and enter several permanent codes from there on. But how do you use the one time and how do you easily program somebody to be able to go in and out, especially remotely? If you only have one code or one for your family, how do you add one for your friend to come in? Well, there's no app, no option in the smart apps on the software. So I started doing some research and I figured I found out how to do it. Now this is gonna re this is a little tricky and I do not know how to do picture in picture with video, et cetera. So you're going to have to deal with the camera staring at the screen. So we're going to go half screen here so I can see the video so I know what you're looking at and whether or not it's in focus. <laughs> so forgive me. Um, but this should help you for those of you that want to program something into your hub. So here we are on the smart things. All right. So you go to your smart community, smartthings.com. You create yourself a little account and you log in. Well, it's not exactly clear, but you want to come over here to Developer Tools, right here. And you click on it. Now, that's a separate login, and that one I created my account. So, and it seems to do this all the time. It keeps telling me I don't have any devices, but yet I do have a device. So, I think it takes time to update, because there's my location. It has it in there. There we go. See, now my hub is there. I think each time you log in, I don't think it remembers it. I think it actually pulls your uh, uh, your hub and gets the information. So you can see I've already got the Z-Wave set up, but we're going to go through it anyway. So what I did was if you go to the community, smartthings.com, there's a community created smart apps. Well, as you can see, I got the lock manager. And he tells you what it does, what the features are, how to use it. Go to the apps and the IDE. Well, the IDE is the developer web page here that I, that I was talking about. So you go to his GitHub, just like that, and you're going to copy all of this. You're going to copy everything all the way down to the bottom down here. Okay copy all that. Let me see if I can, not that you need to see it all, but uh, the camera's just not big enough. So anyway, you copy all that and you're going to hit new smart app up here. You go over here and put from code. I have no idea what I got. Oh, I do have it in there. So you paste it in there and you're going to hit create down here. Now, I don't want to actually hit create right now, but I'm going to because I should be able to, to remove it anyway. And this doesn't happen. Um, I've got this is actually the devices thing I got. Uh, hold on. Let me go back to his GitHub. Let me actually copy this for our purposes so that way I can show you exactly what happens. What I have pasted in there is something different. There we go. So we copy that. Cancel new smart app from code paste it 
create it. Now the final step, which I'm not going to do because I don't want to create a second one of it, is you go to Publish For Me. Once you do that, it'll pop up green up here when it's done, and it will say, you know, done. And then when you go to your Smart Apps, well, you'll see you'll see it'll say this published. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go in here and delete this one because I don't want two of them. Or I thought I was gonna delete it. I don't want to publish it. There it is. Delete. Okay. So after you've done what I just said, this is what you'll see right here. It'll, you know, it'll have the name of it. It'll say published. Okay. Now, the, dri uh, the device manager, device driver inside your smart hub does not count for the Schlage locks. Well, he thought of that too. He's got a device handler he made for it. There's one right here by Gary D9. And it's this little link right here. And that was the first thing that I had copied that you saw that gave that error. I actually had the device code, not the program. So then you would do that, same thing, copy, smart apps. Only this time, you're going to go to my device handlers. You're going to create new, just like before, from code, paste, same process. You're going to hit create, and then you're going to hit publish for me. Make sure it didn't create a second one. Okay. So there you have it. Now you got my device handler, which will say that. You got my smart app, which will say that. So then if you go to my devices, you're going to see the device, which right now is Christopher's Android. That's my tablet that we were looking at earlier on the previous video. And when I set up my, uh, my Schlage door lock, I called it front door. And that's what you see here. So you would click on whatever you call yours. It doesn't matter what you call it. You want to scroll down to edit. And this is actually going to, when it comes up, it's first going to say uh, Z-Wave lock. So what you want to do is you want to scroll down to the very bottom. And you're going to see one, the new one that you added called Z-Wave uh, Z Schlage touchscreen lock. So you're going to select that and you're going to hit update. And then you'll get front door updated. And that's what it should say under type, which you selected Z Wave Schlage touchscreen lock. Now, that's extremely simple. Of course, trying to wave, uh, wade through the instructions on how to normally do it, it's not. So now, if you go to your phone or device, whatever it is you're going to use, which we will use this. All right, let me get back to, all right, so when you first load the app up, that's what you're going to get. You're going to go to Marketplace, Smart Apps, and there's a new, um, a new heading called My Apps, or a new uh, entry. That is what you just put there, the User Lock Manager. So you would hit that. You've got select locks, front door, done. Hmm. And you want to set up the number of users, which apparently this thing takes a few seconds. So I'm just going to set up, say, five users. User settings, very simple. And you just enter what you want. There we go. We'll just select something, whatever you want to put in there, however many digits you want, you know, or well, four digits, I guess, is all the lock will accept. What slot do you want to have? So I can actually have up to 30 codes. You know, you got mute entry notification. The door will beep um, when you open it, but that's a setting you can set on the lock, or you can use the app to do it. Burn after use. Uh, if I use it once, it'll no longer be an active code. Enable, which is important. You want to make sure you enable your new your new lock. Your hello home phrase. I guess that just sends a text or something because your lock does not talk to you, by the way. Um, and there you go. Back to users. Just hit done. 
done. Done. It'll say lock updated. Successfully added user. And that's it. That's all there is to it. You go downstairs and uh, test the code out on your lock. And it'll work. So that's actually fairly simple. Although trying to read the directions and figure that out didn't make a lot of sense. So I hope that uh, even though this is short and simple, I hope it helps you out. Thanks for watching.